Hello, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to the Garden Table Top. In this video, I'm going to change the way you grow your tomato plants. If you're growing the same tomato variety every year, then what I'm about to show you will allow you to regrow your tomato plants without the need of any seeds. I'm going to show you how to regrow the tomato plant simply by taking cuttings. There are three simple steps for this method, and I'm going to go through each one of them with you. Step 1, I'm going to show you how to take cuttings from the original tomato plant. Step 2, I'm going to show you how to root that cutting. And step 3, I'm going to show you how to pop that rooting on. Let's get right into it guys, let's, let's go over to the tomato border. Before we go over, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. 95% of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel. You guys are missing out on great content which I release every week so be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so from today onwards you never miss out on any great content let's go here we are guys at the tomato border we're in the middle of October here in the UK and we're still getting some tomatoes the way I grow these on every year is I simply take a cutting from the mother plant and I'm going to show you how to do that now what you're looking for here is a lead stem to take cuttings from so for example this one here would make the perfect material so this is the, the, the top end of the plant and as you can see it's got a nice stem here so you just take your secateurs and you just cut that away so let's cut that away and you can see we have this little plant now this is perfect so as soon as you've taken a cutting put that into a vase with some water for now. Let me give you another example of what would make a good cutting. You can see this here, it's got a nice long stem. This is the top of the plant. You simply cut it away just above the node, separate it from the main plant and this would be a, another example of a perfect cutting. So we've just taken our cuttings and it should look something like this. I took a few more what we need to do now is to inspect our cuttings and just prepare them. For example, if we take one here, you can see this one is the stem is quite long and it's got these extra shoots coming out. We don't need them, so you can get rid of the extra leaves there. And we can shorten the length of the main stem again. So we just cut that away. So you're left with something that should look like this. This is perfect. You put that back into the water. And that's ready to go. I'll give you another example. So if we take this one here, you can see here that it's got a long stem and you've got these stems coming out. We don't need them. Cut that away. You can cut that away. And you can see a node here. So we just want to cut it above the node and in fact, in this example, we can even get rid of this here. There we go. You should end up with something like this. And put that back into your water. Once you've prepared your cuttings, the next thing for you guys to do is to keep this inside. Keep it on a windowsill and within 7 to 10 working days, these will start rooting. Once they have started rooting, they will look something like this, guys. Here's a few which I took cuttings from. And they will root beautifully like this. There you go. And when you get to this stage, I'll show you what to do next. By the way, these cuttings I took from the, the exact same plant we took cuttings from for this video. And look at them, they've rooted beautifully. Let's move on to the next stage. For the third step, all we want to do now is we want to put them into pots with compost. Remember, you can only do this once they've rooted. So make sure that the cuttings you've taken have rooted nicely, like they have here. Then we can move on to this stage. So prepare your pots with fresh compost and just make a hole like so, using your professional tools. And take one of your cuttings. Something like this is perfect. 
okay and you gently lower it in into your pot make sure it's nice and firm let me bring that a bit closer so you can see if there's any roots coming out push them in firm the compost down and that is about perfect guys keep this inside in a warm room make sure it's a bright room as well keep it watered you may not see much growth over the winter periods but come next year say March April time this will shoot back into growth and when the first frost has gone you can plant this back into your garden and by doing so you're going to have the same variety of tomatoes just by taking cuttings from the original plant so you never have to use seed again and you can keep repeating this process year on year as always don't forget to label it and there you go I hope you've enjoyed this video I've got another one to pot up there don't forget to subscribe to the channel and smash that like button and share this video with your friends and family so they can benefit from this technique too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.